What's up, YouTube? P-Town Piper here. Let me turn this light on. Boom. Sorry, it's a fluorescent. I've got to hold the, you know, hold the button a little bit so it warms up. Just got back from my uh, tobacconist. Got a haul. Got some Mac Baron London Burley. Mac Baron Seven Seas Gold. Almost got the Royal, but the Gold smelled better to me. Some McClellan's Three Cherry. Yup, yup. I almost got some GLP's uh, Triple Play and some GLP's uh, Jackknife Plug. They had both of them in um, the little cans, but um, I held off on those for now. Um, but yeah, I already had the Black Truffle. I already had the uh, Golden Extra. And I got some more Symphony. I'm not sure about the uh, the Mac Baron Symphony. I, I'm really liking the, the flavor of it, but it's biting me. Um, I looked it up online, actually, and um, tongue bite has a lot to do with the pH of the smoke. Whatever kind of chemicals or, you know, however they do it, whatever. Um, the, the pH is actually what leaves that feeling in your mouth, so there's nothing you can do to get around that. Like sipping, anything, it don't matter, because, the, you know, the pH does that to you. So that sucks. And for the uh, the grand finale, my absolute favorite smoke, well, bam, Royal Yacht. And I'm going to share a bowl of that with you guys right now. Oh, I always do that. <laughs> always forget. You have to uh, swoop. pop the seal first. <sighs> ah, so delicious. I don't know what it is about this tobacco. I've never, ever, ever had a tobacco that's like this. Ever. It's a straight Virginia. That's what blows my mind. All other Virginias I've ever had are, are nothing like this. I've read up on it, and it's a uh, it's the certain way that they cure it and uh, and all that. And I'm gonna be smoking it out of my uh, new uh, MacArthur. I'm uh, been really enjoying this pipe, actually. <laughs> you know, it's kind of gimmicky and whatever, but it's uh it's really comfortable to smoke at it when you're just sitting there uh, relaxing. You know, I got my uh, my other corn cob. Uh, I smoke in my car, you know, because it's super light and I can clench it really easy and, you know, have both hands for driving. Okay, this thing's got such a fat bowl. I smoked a bowl for two hours the other night out of this thing. Alright, I'm only going to let it back out two thirds of the way. Oh, don't tell me my lighter's inside. Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's light this bad boy up. Uh, people have been asking me, too, how I light this thing. You know, if, like, it goes out and the tobacco will go down here, how do I light it? Um, it still lights. You just put the flame down in there and, you know, just like if you were to hold the lighter and hold your hand way up here, you know, you can feel the heat. Well, when you're sucking that flame down into the bowl, there's nowhere for that heat to go but right at the tobacco. And it's, you know, it's still close enough that it, it ignites it. One thing I did notice, too, with this MacArthur pipe, when you light the tobacco, you know, sometimes you light your tobacco and there'll be a little flame coming off the tip. Um, in this MacArthur pipe, that happens. And um, I think that's why uh, I've heard of some people where their MacArthur will, you know, will burn out on the side after like their first couple smokes. And I think that might have something to do with it is when they're lighting it, when it's down in there and the tobacco's on fire and there's a flame in there but they can't see it. They don't know. And it burns it out. I've noticed a couple times that flame coming up out of there, I had to blow it out. Mmm. 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 Gosh, I don't know what it is about this tobacco. I just enjoy it so much. No matter how hot I smoke it either, it always smokes perfect. No, I don't know. This tobacco is perfect for me. Mm.
anybody out there uh, that uh, smokes a royal yacht that uh, knows a, of a tobacco that's very similar, um, let me know. You know, I've been buying all these uh, four with one ounce bags, <coughs> and uh, you know, I've been trying to sample everything and uh, see what I like, so I can buy a bigger bag. I'm excited to try this London Burley. I haven't tried a straight Burley yet. I'm glad I did. Thanks, uh, Mountain Mike's Blue One. You're the reason I tried the Burley. Oh, that actually smells like my Royal Yacht. The Royal Yacht, um, the smell it has, it's almost like a fig, like a plum, like a sweet plum kind of a smell. And, uh, that's exactly what this Burley's smelling like, actually. I'm excited to try it. Oh, uh, another thing I was going to show you guys, too, because, um, I've been smoking my pipe around my dad uh, recently, and you know I, I've noticed he's been kind of asking me about it, and you know he's been acting a little interested or whatever. You guys know those little tiny corn cobs they sell? Well, um, they also they started selling the Ozark Mountains, which I believe are pear wood. Um, the guy at the store um, said they were cherry wood. Um, I think they're pear wood, pear wood, but uh, doesn't matter. But I got one of the little Ozark Mountain ones. <laughs> this thing's awesome um, for my dad to try, you know, and obviously if he doesn't like uh, smoking, then we'll make the deal, because it was only a um, $1.50, but where's my lighter so I can get it here? That's how small this thing is. You can't tell how small it is me holding it up, but that's it compared to a lighter. <laughs> it's like the same length as the lighter. <laughs> like literally, it's like, there's my thumb compared to the uh, black ass thumb. That's from, I was just sticking my finger way down in my MacArthur, got it all black, and then I was rubbing it on my thumb. But anyway, let's say compared to my thumb, same, whole bowl's the same size as my thumb. But anyway, I'm hoping, um, actually I was thinking that this might actually, um, scare him away, you know, because he might not enjoy it as much as he, you know, could have, you know, say if he was smoking a MacArthur, you know, because this thing, you know, it almost adds to the experience of just how, you know, awesome it is. I wonder if this thing will take away from the experience at all. I almost got the bigger one. You know, like they have the Ozark Mountain. This is my legend. My corn cob legend. They have the Ozark Mountain, you know, in a legend shape. There's the sizes, you know, like up against each other. I'm trying to get it so you can actually fucking see it. they pretty small. But, also too, I didn't want them to have to smoke uh, for too long either. But yeah, I think he'll enjoy this. We were looking at pipes online the other day. He was sitting next to me, and I was on the uh, Missouri Meerschaum website. And uh, I noticed that he, when he saw the Ozark Mountains, he was like, oh, those are cool. So I almost got the bigger one for him. It was about the same size as the Legend, but straight. They actually have the Ozark Mountain in the exact shape as the Legend with the bent. Uh, stem and everything. They have one with the black stem, and, and actually, I believe they have the amber stem as well. But yeah, he's not home, so wait for him to get back. Now he actually he might have left town. Actually, him and my mom were going. Um, we have property um, up in uh, Washington, off of uh, Highway 12. You know, it's in between. Um, Yakima, like Yakima and I-5 on Highway 12 for all you guys up there. I think uh, Scott, Sparky's Pipes, he might be close to there, Wenatchee. It's a little bit more uh, northeast of where uh, our property's at. You know where like Lake uh, Rife is, Rife Lake, or like Lake Mayfield, Mayfield Reservoir. We're like right on the Lake Mayfield, right on the Cowlitz River. But yeah, anyway, a bunch of random useless information that nobody cares about. <laughs> so, anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, Royal Yacht, pretty delicious. Oh wow, ten minute ramble, huh? <laughs> um, I'm curious what you guys think about this little guy and uh, you know, giving it to my dad for his first smoke. I think that's a good idea, or you know, maybe if any of you guys have got somebody into smoking and you know, how you got them into it. 
be nice. God, I love this royal yacht. I'm gonna have to start buying it in five pound bricks like uh, Sparky's Pipes does with his one Q. Oh, that reminds me, I was gonna buy some one Q while I was there. Oops. Oh, oh well. All right, guys. I'm almost at 11 minutes, so uh, I'll cut this ramble off. Sweet smokes, everyone. Beach on Piper. Signing off. <laughs>